The University of the Philippines Diliman AGT was an automated guideway transit AGT system constructed for technology demonstration within the campus of the University of the Philippines UP, in Diliman, Quezon City in the Philippines. It served as a test track for the first mass transit system to be built and developed in the country by local engineers. The first phase of the project was funded by the Department of Science and Technology DUST, in a joint project with the UP administration. DUST provided funding and supervised the first phase as well as the design of the coaches and track to be used. If found feasible, the project would be expanded into a 6.9 kilometers 4.3 miles intracampus loop. In October 2018, the DUST announced that it would dismantle the railway line and transfer it to another university after UP declined use of the facility. History In his speech during his 2011 State of the Nation, President Benigno Aquino III called for the development of the AGT elevated train system as a potential solution to the problem of mass transportation in country. The project could result in more kilometers of cheap transport, decongesting urban centers and allowing rural communities easier access to centers of commerce and industry. Based on international studies, the AGT system is the most cost-effective and less intrusive mass transport for commuting countries like the Philippines according to DUST. AGT systems are designed to be cheaper and lighter than the rapid transit system serving the commuters of Metro Manila. The system would be developed and built locally utilizing local engineers and resources to minimize cost. Plans for the rapid transit system were revealed as early as December 2010. The electric, driverless, fully automated guideway transit system would be grade separated, running on rubber tires. Dust assured that it will not harm the environment and no trees will be cut in the campus. The train will have two passenger coaches with a capacity of 60 persons per coach. The construction of the railway was started in June after the contract was awarded to construction and engineering firm Miescor Builders Inc. The groundbreaking ceremony was held on July 18, 2011 at the corner of Jacinto Street and La Candula Saint. The railway line became operational in 2012, with trains with two coaches arriving at the campus on November 25, 2012 with the initial test run scheduled in December 2012. The initial test track is 465 meter, 1526 feet, long with an elevation of 6.1 meters, 20 feet between CP Garcia Avenue across from the Commission on Higher Education building and Jacinto Street running along the College of Fine Arts. Both the Dust and the University conducted test runs to check economic viability, power consumption and strength of materials. The test track was used to fine-tune the technology's mechanisms and operation, which include speed, stability, brake distance, and power, among others. Dust previously created an earlier prototype, launched in Bikutan, Taguig City on a straight 150-meter track. The UPD campus is a chance to test the system on a curved and circular track. Aquino and various government officials rode the test line in April 2013. The ride was described as bumpy because of uneven tracks and the suspension system. Officials from the dust said that in the next generation of vehicles these problems would be rectified. The pilot AGT project served as a test case for future cheaper and safer alternative for mass transit projects in the country. In October 2018, the dust announced that it would dismantle the AGTS line within the University of the Philippines after the university declined use of the railway. The dismantling works is projected to be finished by the end of 2018 and the DUST plans to set up a similar line in another university. The government agency is negotiating with the Bataan Peninsula State University to regarding the transfer the AGTS from UP to its campus. Cost the budget of the Department of Science and Technology for the elevated track and the AGT train was initially placed at 16 million Philippine pesos and 4 million Philippine pesos, respectively. The amount of the contract awarded to Miescor is 22 million Philippine pesos. The trains cost less as they are locally made using local materials, not imported. The dust had a budget of at least 13 million pesos for the dismantlement of the railway line. Planned expansion The rail line was planned to be expanded into a 6.9 kilometers 4.3 miles track that will loop the campus. The route will include stops not covered by jeepneys. 
A total of 13 stations are included in the proposed plan. The speed of the train in the campus is planned at 50 to 60 kilometers per hour, 31 to 37 miles per hour, similar to MRT3 trains, but an upgrade to 120 kilometers per hour, 75 miles per hour is under study. References External links Map of the UP Diliman AGT system